What? Are we playing as him now? Welcome to Blackgate. We're gonna do a quick psychiatric evaluation. Who is that? Bad day, huh? Cops in the city. Always beating on the sick and defenseless. Oh my god, is that Harley Quinn? Tell me something, dear. Have you ever had a really bad day? And what do you mean by that? You of all people should know. There's nothing so cruel as memory. The pointy bite into a thunderbolt and wanted party crashes screaming for your senses. <laughs> Inescapable, unrelenting, not at all friendly. You can't even escape into madness. <laughs> and then you meet someone who what? changes your life. And you feel you don't even know who you are. <laughs> Isn't it funny? Oh how my god. One little encounter can cleave off little pieces of your past, deform your memories and persona to rethink your whole identity. Ooh, <laughs> man. And you soon realize how foolish it all is. <laughs> your laughter reverberates off the walls of the world. I need more specific. How about we try some <laughs> word assumptions? That sounds delightful. Acceptance. Oh, that's a little try, isn't it? Look, I'm only doing this to help you. Let's try this again. Acceptance. <laughs> My favorite stage. One more, and I need you to be serious for this one. Fate. <laughs> you want to know something funny? I used to think of fate as evil. Oh wow! I'm not playing by as the some higher power old power Red Hood character. The rules huh. of human nature. Tonight, it's all changed. What's changed? Have you ever had the feeling that your entire life has been building towards this? One moment. Is that how you feel? Yes. Now I realize that all the battles, the bad days, the brutalities, it was all the hand of fate at work. So now you see fate differently? <laughs> Absolutely. Now I understand there are no chance encounters. It was all meant to be. Everything leading up to tonight. So is that someone special? Yes. And you might say it's changed everything. Everything? Absolutely. I mean, do you realize what a vile world we live in? How lonely it is to wade through all that wretched filth on the world. Even in a crowd of other screwballs, <laughs> you're so lonely you can kick, claw, yell, scream at the top of your lungs. It's like you don't even exist. I feel. This is so weird. Sometimes I feel like I'm trapped on this path leading nowhere into just emptiness. And now I feel like you've got someone by your side. To share the journey with you. And how does that make you feel? I feel adrift, floating, like someone's pulled the stopper on my reality, and I'm sucked down the drain into something new. It's all very exciting, really. <laughs> you wouldn't know what that feels like, I'm sure. I might. Can you tell me more about how this person makes you feel? 
It's like meeting someone I can actually relate to. Which, believe me, dear, I've never felt before. <laughs> you understand? You're someone who's not afraid to let go and fall. <laughs> Free falling, and I didn't pack a shoot. <laughs> You know what I mean? Yes. Yes, I do. I figured you would. So, may I ask, who is this person? Oh, someone very, very special. But whose real name I don't even know yet. Uh, my name's Halleen. Halleen Quinzel. What a pretty name. Do your friends call you Honey? Oh, uh, I don't have a lot of friends. Well, Harley, you got one now. You know, I was really hoping they would show you know, how the Joker met Harley Quinzel. Harley, whatever. I'm glad they did. I'm glad they incorporated. Oh, God. Crime Alley? Really? anticlimactic, but I hoped you might finally be ready to celebrate Christmas Eve, now that the Joker's behind bars. Bane is still out there. I've got to locate the signal from the tracker I placed on him. Even you must eat, sir. If you hadn't called the police, he'd already be in custody. Dispatch, this is Delta 47. You know, I made a promise of my own to your parents. No sign of any cash. Not now, Alfred. This is the story back in the precinct. What's he that? Found bombs under the foundation. Some kind of hopped up freak. Must have been 400 pounds of muscle. Took six cops to gun that bastard down. Yeah, I saw the body in the morgue. Couldn't look. Sounds like this could be Bane or one of his men. If I hurry to the GCPD morgue, I can inspect the body and the autopsy report. Well, before you leave, I've run some tests on the compound you found at the steel mill. Looks like a match for your globular projectile for non-lethal restraint. You mean the blue grenade? Indeed. The resin has finished curing. It's at your workbench. All right, so of course, I'd new... recommend testing it here in the lab before you go. Weapon. But I'm sure you won't listen to me. You never do. Acquire the blue grenade at the workbench. Yes, of course. And of course, I never listen to you, Alfred, because I'm Batman. I take orders from no one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I was really hoping they would incorporate a small story as to how the Joker met Harley, and I'm glad they did. Because I was thinking about that in uh, Arkham City when I was playing, if you guys remember, if you watched it. Blue Grenade. Sweet! And see, why couldn't so I, I have the blue grenade? It, then? It's called field testing, Alfred. I don't see why I couldn't have had the glue grenade in Arkham City. The Red Hood. And, you know, I forgot that originally the Joker was known as the Red Hood. And then I think, uh, what's his name? Jason Todd? One of Batman's uh, early Robin? Robin's sidekicks, 
he took on the mantle as the Red Hood later on. So that was pretty interesting too. But yeah, I think I'm out of time for this video guys. I really hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel for more videos of Arkham Origins as well as other walkthroughs that I've done. Alright guys, take it easy and hopefully I'll see you back here for the next video.